Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing some more RuneScape. Just a quick heads up however, since I am using the PS5 controller as a microphone since my headset has unfortunately broke. The one that I bought for my birthday. Haha. <laughs> -ha. There will be an echo for the game audio. Because my speakers are behind my desk, and I don't know how any of any other way to not have that happen unless I buy a new headset, which I might do in the future. I have not decided yet. Really? Why though? Interesting. So I figured I would. Still go ahead and do commentary for this, despite there being an echo for the videos I do for this. Because I don't really record this game very much, and it's not a high priority to record. But I'm now in the mood to record it regardless. Because, well, I mean, why not? So, I apologize in advance for the... Echo you will hear. I might turn down. Actually, I probably could turn down. Um, it's not here, is it? No, it's probably in game only. This only mutes the. Yeah, only mutes this, not anything else. <coughs> so why did they increase this for? I didn't notice this until just now, and this, this is more recent. Oh, I hate when it does that. I wish, it ha I wish Steam had smooth scrolling. I really do. Dear Steam, I mean, dear Gabe, can we get smooth scroll for, for your app? That'd be great. Primal smithing. Primal smithing must be for um members only was I'm not a member Primal pickaxe wait what hold on Requires a hundred mining and a hundred smithing to create good luck getting smithing to a hundred good god, dude Masterwork sword Oh so it's only a two-handed sword, nothing else is masterwork. That is... No way, make X? That better not be freaking for members only. <gasps> that better not be members only. Oh my god. That better not be members only. Oh, holy shit. Okay. That feature better not be members only. Oh! Hold on now. I can't use this one. Um. Home to the port. We're going to here. Oh, man. Oh, dude, it better not be members only. That's if it if it is, I will pay for membership. Cause that will make the grind so much freaking easier for members than doing it one by one. And why they just now put it in makes no sense. Smith Anvil. Members only. Yep. Members only. Unless it's not out yet. Hold on. Unless it's not out yet. No, it's a few. Oh, a future update. Okay. 
future updates. So it's not out yet. Okay. And I cannot do this here. I have to freaking do it on the actual site. I'm sorry, but Steam, you need freaking smooth scroll. I'm sorry. I love you, but you need smooth scroll for your browser. What's up, buddy? Um, I want the good runescape. Don't care about cookies. Um, play for free now. Uh, that's not what I want. I want this. I want this. Thank you. Don't care. That's my option and I'm sticking to it. Quit asking me, you fucktards. Quit asking me, you fucktards. I don't care. When does this come out? And it better not be members only. This better not be members only. Two days. It better not be members only for that feature. Oh, man. That feature better not be members only. Being able to craft multiple items in smithing. Oh. One of the highly requested features. Or upgrade multiple. Nothing in here says any of this is members only. But I bet it is. I bet all of this is members only. None of it says it is though. But I bet all of it is. comes out in two days so Tuesday oh boy <clears throat> oh I cannot wait for that to come out and find out if it's members only or not because <laughs> the current method is com is complete dog doo doo <laughs> it is complete and utter dog doo doo I mean, I, I still miss the old method of smithing, where you just hit the hammer and it was done. But, oh my god. Having to right click on everything and having, yeah, no. I'm glad they're doing that. I really am. It makes me happy. And it better not be members only. That's all I can say. If it is, I will pay for members. I will. I don't mind doing it. Not that I can, you know, use any of the bonuses because I'm a hardcore character, but honestly, I don't give a crap. <clears throat> Alright, so I need more food for my character. Was this fine? So we're going to go fishing because I only have seven food left. So, it's time to go fishing down in Karimja. Unfortunately, I don't have a, um, a waypoint down there. They should put a, um, a lodestone down in, in the fishing area for, for Karimja, but they won't, and it's sad. So, we're going to go on a fishing trip for 30 gold because reasons. I could fish for lobsters, but... That is not the ideal one to fish for right now. Because I wouldn't get the full bonus. Are you... Yes, you are. 
No, it's pay fair. Pay fair. Just let me pay fair. Like, come on now. I shouldn't have to go through the whole spiel, but whatever. My ship arrives, and we're gonna go over here. Because reasons. <coughs> and if you've never played RuneScape before, back in the old days, armor used to weigh you down. Thank God it does not do that anymore. It is a cosmetic that gives you benefits. Thank God. <laughs> um, we want to harpoon for tuna because lobsters will not benefit us much. <coughs> not until level 48 where it will give us the full benefit of health. And we're currently level 37 health. So we're fishing. I could work on my game while I'm doing this, but this is RuneScape. I don't think it's really worth it, honestly. Hey, we caught a tuna. Can I cut trees here? No, I can't. Oh well, I need to get my fire. Actually, no, hold on. How much does fire making help with this? Heat. So my smithing level is 34. 4 of 5, and then 3. 4. It does help. Oh! It does help. Oh! I guess I'll be doing that for a while then, too. So, yeah, I'll be doing that. That sounds like a good deal to me, honestly. I don't mind doing that at all, actually. I really don't. I honestly do not mind doing that. If it gives me three more heat per level, or thereabouts. Hold on, I wonder. Let's say I had max level... Um... Okay. Can I go to 120 for it? I don't know if it does 120, but let's say it does. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, okay, I think I broke it now. That's cool. <laughs> I broke it. Nice. There are any trees here I can cut down? I don't think there are. No, I think it's nothing but banana trees. No, I think over there. Yeah, I can cut those ones down. Dear RuneScape, at a bank right here at this fishing spot. So I can just have ease of access. And just like, you know, fish forever. Just like, you know. And have an option just at a bot run the thing for 24 hours. There's gonna be fish. Put it in a bank right there. Like right, like right here. A bank right here. Like literally like right here. There's a bank right where I'm at right now. Just, you know. And just have a, like, allow us to run bots within the game itself, not through third-party programs. Score. That would be great. Since your, since your new owners are, are okay with botting. <laughs> that would be grand. I mean, you kind of have to do it now, since, you know, the people who bought you out are fine with botting. 
can't ban buyers anymore since the new owners are okay with it. I mean, <laughs> hi, buddy. What are you doing? You get some food? I'm looking in their shops a lot. And if you're thinking, why am I catching tuna and not lobsters? Well, lobsters take longer to catch. I'm only level 40 right now for fishing. I want something that's easier to catch. Something that gives me more XP versus something that takes forever to catch for a slower XP. And tunas, you can catch them at level 35 or 30 fishing. So I would rather catch something that is easier to grab because I'm higher level in fishing than the required level versus lobsters, which are level 40. So once I get to about level 50 or 60, then I will start catching lobsters. <coughs> and I don't mind sitting here just catching fish. I used to do this every day when I was younger on old RuneScape before the graphical overhaul and the combat overhaul. And I'm, I'm talking, you know, Old school RuneScape. The ones that hurt your, the graphics that hurt your eyes. Oh. I think I had. I had a character. I forgot what, it, what his name was. Because it's been years. But it had like 75 or maybe even level 80 fishing. And that's all I did. I didn't do anything else. Well, I did, I did some things besides that. But I mostly did fishing because, you know, why not? I didn't do mining or smithing back then because it was a snooze fest back then. I prefer mining and smithing now, now that ores are infinite and that there's a, a smeltery bank. But I don't like how smithing bars into objects is done. I don't like that at all. If we could, if they could go back to how it was before the change where you just hit a few times and it's done instantly done oh no more no more having to wait for like two hours for it to finish melting the bar no no more freaking heat or whatever because that that's just stupid i'm sorry it really is that was i think their way to prevent botting i really do but yeah, if we can just if they can just go back to the old way of of smithing items and or bars and items, that'd be great. Because this new way sucks. I don't mind the bank for bars and ores. So I can stay, or the infinite mining spots. But the other thing has to go. I'm sorry. Um, fishing needs an improvement. Um, fishing spots, like I said, need a bank right there by them. Or instead of a, or instead of a bank, um, styles like right there, at all of them, at all fishing zones, just either styles or a bank, right there. <coughs> Combat's fine. Magic, honestly, get rid of runes. <laughs> just get rid of runes. Runes are um, outdated. Get rid of them. They're pointless at this point. Magic's the hardest thing to do because of runes. Get rid of it. Um, do like lore wise, just start like say. They can do lore wise like. Mana has been discovered lore wise, and now you can make um you can either buy or craft. Mana potions. And they're easy to make. 
Like, don't make them stupidly hard to make. Make them easy to make. Make them cheap as well. Like, make it to where there's... Make it to where... Okay, how about this? Instead of potions for mana, food restores mana and health. Done deal. Or, or, hear me out. Prayer is pretty much pointless, in my opinion. So change prayer to be your mana. Done. Get rid of where you bury bones, because screw that crap. And make it to where as you gain magic levels, you get more prayer points. And your prayer points are your mana points. <coughs> Problem solved. You won't have to bury bones anymore. They can get rid of bones in general and save data. Done. Because honestly, burying bones for prayer is, is, is freaking dumb. It is freaking dumb as hell. It is the stupidest mechanic ever. And, and prayer needs work too, honestly. And there's my fix for prayer. Just turn prayer into magic points. Done. Get rid of runes. Convert prayer into magic. You're done. Easy fix. Take out all the prayers. Convert rune. Convert rune casting into mana points. Was this prayer points? Done. Carry it. You can buy a talisman from the Grand Exchange for like. 10,000 gold and that's the entry fee to be able to cast magic and you can wear that like have that in your tool belt at all times and you can you know like press a hot key or whatever to use that item to refill your to pray you can use that item as a miniature altar and pray versus having to go to an actual altar and pray and it's in your tool belt freaking genius or wear it around your neck well no no because then you couldn't wear actual necklaces that buff your character you yeah, know just have it in your tool belt and just press a hotkey or whatever it is to pray To pray and get your points back for magic. I mean, because the rune system needs to go. It really does. I mean, I, I mean, I know it's runescape, but who in their right mind wants to use or wants to go and dig out runes for magic and convert runes into, into you know, usable runes? I sure as hell don't. So just get rid of that mechanic. Like. Because it's, it's outdated. It needs work. That's why I'm not doing magic. Heck, I remember when magic was um, the easiest thing to level up. Instead of getting XP from only killing things like it is now. You got XP based on how much damage you did. And that was the only skill that did that back in the day. Nothing else did that. <clears throat> so magic back in the day was easier to level up. But it was the most costly thing to level up. And it might have been that way because it is a very expensive skill to level up. Now we run over to Mr. Styles, which he should be over here and that way over here where I'm going. But I mean, I digress. Is there no trees I can cut down here? Uh, I guess not. No, there's no trees to cut here. 
Hey devs, can you move styles over to where I just was? That would be grand. Or put a bank over there and just remove styles. Please, that would be great. No, I want to exchange. And make, make exchange the top option, not talk. Because who wants to talk to him? No one. We want to exchange. Quality of life features, devs. This game needs it. This game needs it. It really does. Also, also, I kind of want to see a um, Unreal 5 version of RuneScape. Chop, chop. Please. I'm begging you. Third person or first person. I, I would love that. Same mechanics for all this stuff. But get rid of the 28 sauce for inventory. <laughs> that has to go. Make, make everything stack. <laughs> make everything stack. <laughs> make, make it single player only, please. Keep this version for people who want to play online, but make a modern version with Unreal 5 for single player only and make it cost 60 bucks. And you can give us the entire world. And I'm talking the entire world. For 60 bucks. I'll buy it. I'd buy it for 60 bucks. Or even 100 bucks. Okay, no, no, not 100 bucks. 60 bucks. I'd buy it. Any, any new content that this version gets, the Unreal 5 version gets too. I mean, why not? Single player at um, RuneScape? Hell yeah, dude. With Unreal 5 engine? Hell yeah. I would love to see that. And they don't even have to use photogrammetry if they don't want to. I mean, they could if they wanted to, but I wouldn't care. I would not care if they did or didn't do it. It'd be wonderful. Where is a spot to fish? Well, right here. <coughs> they can call it like a runescape. I don't know what they can call it if they did that on Unreal 5. <coughs> they can call it runescape return to Jelenor or Gelenor, however it's pronounced. Single player adventures. For 60 bucks because yes. And single player version has everything unlocked. All member stuff, everything. This version will be, like, will stay. Oh man, it'd be wonderful. I, I would pay for it. <laughs> Put it on PC, console. No mobile, no switch because reasons. <laughs> Supposed to be like 10 frames a second. <laughs> be pretty bad. Or what they could do, they could do that, or, no, just, just do that. Just re-release re RuneScape as a single player adventure game with everything here unlocked for 60 bucks with Unreal 5 graphics, photogrammetry if they want to. If they don't do it, no big deal. I don't care. All new content that this version gets and I'm playing now goes to the single player version of RuneScape. Yeah, that's all they really gotta do. 
this version will be their main income, which is not very much anymore because it is a dying game. Unfortunately. I mean, it, it happens. But I do think that if they did that, that it would revitalize RuneScape. I really do. It would draw in more players, too. People would be like, what's RuneScape? Just type it in. And it would bring them to this right here. And they would try this version along with the, the modern version. It would work. It would honestly work. That's what they should do. It would, yeah, that would work. That would honestly work for, for them. Keep all the microtransactions and all the gambling crap on this version and keep the single player version just a strict single player version, no online requirements at all, no microtransactions, no gambling, no loot boxes, no nothing. And just remake this game with Unreal 5. The entire game. Members area included. It would sell well, I think. It really would. And if it doesn't sell well, I mean, at least they tried to revitalize the game. Their dying game. Be one last hoorah before... You know, stuff happens and they have to shut down, but I mean, you know. They can even outsource it to someone else. Who knows how to run Unreal 5. Someone who has the money, because obvious reasons. RuneScape's dying, they don't have much money because of that, I'm sure. If it was still in its heyday where it had a million players on it at a time, all day long, I'm sure they would have money for that. But um, but nowadays, they probably don't have money for that. And that sucks. And that really sucks knowing that. But it happens. And the old farts who watch this go probably like, yeah, I remember those days when RuneScape had a million players on, on at one time. Yeah. And of those of you who've never played this game, it, yeah, it used to have that much at a time. One million players at one time. Then they made one, in my opinion, a great thing. But for other people, they made a mistake. They took out player versus player. In the wilderness. What they should have done instead. So they hopefully wouldn't have um, lost. Um, that player base. Is made it to where they had PVP servers only. And increase the server cap for those servers only. From like 2,000 or whatever it was to 10,000 people. That might have worked. Who knows. But. Because of one unfortunate. I don't call it mistake. I call it a, a blessing. Because now I can go into the wilderness. And not get killed by some a-hole. Who is. You know. War hungry for no reason. Because PvP. Well, honestly, PvP just does not belong in games ever. It, it just doesn't. PvP games in general should not exist, in my opinion. But because, you know, because they got rid of it, their player account went down by 90% that same day. <coughs> and it's sad. 
It's really sad knowing that. Or they could have made it to where instead of it being in the wilderness, they made a new location where it was PvP only. Like that island. You go to the island and you PvP there instead. Just avoid it if you don't want to be, if you don't want to be part of it. Just don't go there. That simple. Don't put any quests there. No, no enemies there at all. Just have it be nothing but PvP. And if you die, you lose nothing. You just respawn at the boat. And that's it. That's what they could have done. And, and, I mean, they still could. They still could make an area that is just for PvP. I mean, down here. They can move this over to here somewhere and make a ginormous island that is just for PvP and make the rest of the game PvE only and that might bring in more people. Or where, where else can they do it, I wonder? Hold on. They can do it down here. No, they can do it, no. They can do it up here. Yeah, do it up here. Have your ginormous PvP only island up here. And then make the rest of the game nothing but PvE only on all servers. I think that would bring some life back to the game. I really do. Have a battle royale on RuneScape. For those that don't want to do it, just don't go there. That simple. And if you go there and you die while while wearing your armor or whatever, you don't lose it. You just lose, you know, dignity. That's it. Don't even do the stupid circle bull crap. Just go there and kill if you want, you know? Make it to where everyone's the same level, like level like level fifty or whatever. Wait, oh wait, they're all on equal footing. And put them, put them, put everyone in the same armor. Like, put everyone in, in rune armor, no upgrades, and they're all level 50. And they all have the same stats. Like, all stats for, you know, for rune armor stats, and the same health. That's, you know, there's just... Just do that in a battle battle royale setting for RuneScape. And if no one wants to take part, then don't go there. But for those who do like PvP, they can go there and have fun all they want and not lose anything. Because the armor they're wearing is not theirs. It's it's cosmetic armor, but it's not their cosmetic armor. It's the game's armor. You get, you get your stuff back whenever you leave the island. That's what I would do. I do think that would bring in some, some more people to RuneScape. I really do. And it may not work. Who knows? No, I, I want to do this. There you go. So that's 55 fish. I want to do two more rounds, I believe. Wow, dude. I caught a fish. Hell yeah, dude.
Minuten. There we go. I wonder, hold on. Is there something on... Catch rates. There's nothing on catch rating, like on how fast you catch it. Gathering skill. High chance. Oh, so that's for the honed perk only, so it does not affect fishing chance. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, hold on. There's different rods? What? There's different rods. I did not know this until now. So, 41. Submit. No way, there are changes. Oh my god, what the hell? This is cool. Fish XP overall. Elite outfit. I don't know, well, 20. I don't know if that... Familiar in use... I don't know if I have that or not. So it's getting 40. So let's just do 40 then. So where's tuna? 11% chance to catch it. Yikes. <laughs> Let's 
Yeah, no wonder it's taking forever. What about lobsters? 16% chance. So I apparently have a higher chance to catch. What if I lowered? Hold on, I wonder. I wonder. No, okay. I don't know what 20. What does that do for me? I wonder. Skill Chompa and use elite outfit. Ring of Whispers. Fish per hour is 141, supposedly. Big net. 3.9. Nothing. Oh wow, casket. So I have a higher chance to catch these then. Interesting. Isn't it 54 um, sharks, I think? No, so for swordfish. Yeah, a much higher chance for this. What about tuna? Yeah. So I'm better off catching those then. I have a higher chance to catch these now versus, tu versus tuna. By a whopping 5%. Who would have thought? Okay, I mean... I mean, I don't mind. If it's a higher chance, according to the official wiki, sure. And it's 10 more XP as well. And these will always be a, the best chance for me to catch no matter what I do. And then swordfish, how much do they give me whenever they're fully cooked? Only 200 more health, that's not worth it. Yeah, I know. So yeah, lobsters are the best food, okay. With a higher catch rate. than either tuna or swordfish. Interesting. I don't mind starting over. I really don't. Now, hold on. Can I see how much they'll give me? Enter my constitution. Nine hundred twenty-five. So uh, they give more already than what I was getting before. Oh, that's the end. That's, that's worth it then. Yeah, so that's worth it then. 
Yeah, I'm getting way more quicker. Holy crap, this is nice. This is nice. This is handy dandy. I feel like that one's about out of fish. been an hour and I have not really caught any fish at all yet. Wow. Sounds about right. Grows weird yellow fruit. Swordfish gloves. I think those are what let me catch something but swordfish. Hold on, I wonder, hold on. Fishing. No, it would be over here, wouldn't it? Where was that at?
fishing catch rates. Here we go. Okay. So, 65. Let's do this and see if that one pops up or not. Monkfish. Aren't monkfish the members only? Yeah. What catfish? Yes. Desert soul? Yes. So it does not list the swordfish gloves at all. There's an option to catch these. Fist of Gothics can be used to gain addition. All oh, it's only for. Uh, okay, it's only for additional experience, not to catch them with. Okay. Rainbow fish members only. Fair enough. Why did it break for us? Weird. So everything past swordfish is members only. That's fair. Frog spawn members. Okay. Two hundred fifty health. Really? That's it. What about? Yeah, so that's only worth... Yeah, so lobsters are the best ones to catch for now. Which is fine, I really don't care, honestly. <coughs> Alright, so we got some lobsters. I'm gonna burn a lot of them until I get to X cooking, which is I think like 70 plus or whatever. So it'll be a while before I don't burn, which is whatever. I don't care. No, not that. Oh, and it moved again it's over here now. Level 42. Heck yeah, man. We're getting there. I'm ready to record for another 30 minutes or so. Try to get my fish since I had to start over. Knowing that I have a higher chance to catch lobsters. Which I did not know until the, until the wiki. But it does seem like a higher chance to holy crap. Which is wonderful to know. I need to work on this too for my smithing. What I can do. I might do that after I get some fish.
Actually, can I use... No, I can't. I'll have to make it first, which is honestly not a big deal. Well, can I use Mithril? Hold on. Steel, and then... Mithril is level 30. Oh, there's a wood box. Oh, shit, okay. Wonder how I make that. I'm so curious, hold on. Fletching skill, okay. And it moved. Yay. Ding. I'm just going to do that because I can, and then exchange. I'm going to come back over here. Which actually, you know what, I want to go ahead and put a cut here, and I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day.